G'day guys, my name's Nathan from Geek in the Kitchen, and I've got a Yeti here. Yeti is by far one of my most favourite drink bottle to use, and not just because it is orange, but because it is a Yeti. It does what a Yeti does. Keeps your drinks hot, keeps your drinks cold, and looks good while doing it. A few years ago when I was researching bottles and other various stuff around the traps, I came across a company called Hydrate. And they made a Hydrate Spark V3, which was then replaced with a Hydrate Tap and a Hydrate Seal. Please note, this is a legacy product if you are shopping from the US, and it is no longer available. It is now called the Hydrate Spark Pro. In Australia, JB Hi-Fi and on selected retailers, you will still find these for sale. It is probably one of the most expensive drink bottles you will ever buy. It is even dearer than my 36 ounce Yeti sitting over here. The Hydrate Spark Seal is a smart drink bottle with Bluetooth technology. It works with Fitbit, it works with the Apple Watch, but the big question is, does it work with the Galaxy Watch? Does it? Who knows, let's find out. The app is definitely available on Google Play. It has integration with Apple Health for those who are in the iOS system. But, but let's see, what do we actually get in the box? Okay, damn. We get a USB cable. Oh, you are shitting me. Okay, this is a bit of a funny one. It is a flat USB cable around 30 centimeters long. It terminates in a USB-A, but it has, I guess you could say, a two-prong magnetic connector. These might be available as a spare part from the US, but I doubt you will get them as a spare part in AU without buying a new bottle, and that is disappointing. So obviously mine... You can see the plastic has already come away from the cardboard. Small bit of bubble wrap protecting the top. This is the deep blue or royal blue. There is a lot of stuff on the base from the cardboard and shit, I'm guessing. It has a non slip kind of base. So the base actually comes out, and once you've removed the base, you can actually see the base is where the LEDs are. Yeah, so it's a fairly secure connector, but not, not as strong as magnets as you would hope. So the 10 LEDs on the side, I'll show you what kind of just happens here. So this is 21 ounces, 620 mil. And you just lock it in like that. So that was pretty painless. It has like a carrying loop here. I don't think I'd ever use it. Clearly, when it's in orange, it's locked. So that's their chug lid. Okay, it opens relatively quickly. It should be noted that this is not for hot liquid. You take the lid off and it's a pretty standard Pratsic lid, similar to what you see on a lot of bottles. It's not as well made as your Yeti lids, especially your triple haul. You wouldn't expect it to be. Inside the bottle, you are met with, we love happy customers, and your basic instructions and shit. Out of the box, there is no charge on this. So, sock standard, it is pretty a generic kind of bottle until you charge it. So... We're definitely going to have to chuck this on charge and come back in another video and see how we go. But this would just basically to give you a understanding and a first impression of the Hydrate Seal Smart Bottle. And I do have to say, it's really lightweight. It Even once you put, put it back in, it's even still very light weight, and that is definitely a bonus. And getting that lid 
open so quick is definitely a bonus for bike riders and people on a treadmill or something. It is quite a tall bottle. It's around the same height as my Yeti. It's a very interesting concept. Is it going to work? Who knows? So, that was my first impression and a very generic kind of unboxing. Is it worth $109 at recommended retail in Australia? At the moment, no. Buy a Yeti. Honestly, don't run into your local JB. Uh, jump on Tackle World and buy a Yeti. Now, I'm not even joking, guys. Like, seriously, just looking at the quality of this bottle is, yeah. The lid is good. The bottle feels relatively well made, but we need to check out quite a few things, and I'm worried that the app is going to be quite a bit of a deal breaker, and... A few other things. So at the moment, my conclusion for the best drink bottle money can buy is still my Yetis. And I own a fuck ton of these. Um, so yeah, at the end of the day, I will finish this video up and leave you guys to it. And I will come back in a week or so on the blog and also on YouTube and let you guys know what I think. So... Until that time, this is Nathan from Geek in the Kitchen, signing off.